Uh, hello, my name is Daniel. I'm technical support for Bydemus Ireland, and today I will talk about the Hyundai Color View camera. Uh, camera I want to talk about is uh, HYU six seven 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 seven. So I'm gonna just show it out uh, quickly on uh, on our website. It's a pretty basic camera, IP camera of two megapixels with white illumination up to thirty meters. Uh, it also has a capability of uh, the um, yeah, real VDR, 120 uh, dBs, which is very useful for uh, low light conditions or actually uh, extreme uh, light conditions. Then it le levels out the, the scene. And uh, while doing that, uh, it can uh, keep up uh, with 24 hour of color without the need to switch to black and white mode, uh, even though this night mode can be switched uh, uh, manually if, uh, if a user wants to do that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, as you can see here, it requires where very low amount of light to operate in, in full color. And then there's this white illumination uh, LED that can uh, be uh, set up to aid uh, the scene. Well, uh, it has some, also has some uh, nice features like um, uh, tripwire, intrusion detection, and so on. The 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 smart features uh, can be used as well with the camera. And it's as most of the other ones, it's plug and play with the next gen NVRs. So first thing that you have to do with this camera is you have to activate it as any other camera, and this is done with easily done with uh, SADP tool or with uh, UVMS on the desktop, the client. After you do that, you can set up the password for the camera and you can change uh, network settings. So if you want, you can set it to DHCP or set it as static IP. So I'm just gonna open the camera. I can do it in this browser. So let me check my IP address. I believe it's uh, set up my IP range here. Yes, you can see it here. It's uh, 677, 10, 22, and 234. Okay, login, standard login. Uh, okay, for some reason it's on uh, substream, so I'm going to change it to mainstream here. So, I mean, this is a. Uh, I try to darken my room as much as I could, but there's still some light going in. But it the room is uh, much darker than it than the camera is uh, showing, so it's kind of leveling out uh, the scene to show more uh, color than there is actually. Um, well. Uh, the, all these settings are pretty much the same as, as all the other cameras, uh, with few differences. Uh, first difference is here in uh, system settings. Uh, if you go to external device, you'll see the LED light uh, has a separate options. So of course you can enable or disable this supplemental light and you can set it to work either manually or, uh, you can, uh, Sorry, this is uh, about the brightness. So uh, brightness uh, can be set automatically, and then you can set how much of the max brightness it can achieve, or you can set it to manual brightness, and then you can choose what level of uh, LED you want. But I, I can leave it on auto right now, and then you can choose if the LED will turn on automatically. If, it, uh, if this sensitivity, is set to uh, the the higher the sensitivity is, the more likely it's gonna change uh, 
from uh, not uh, having the LED on to to having it on. So, for example, you can also set the timing for this thing, and you can set any time you want for the LED to be active, which is, I guess, uh, a nice little feature. Uh, so, let's say you, you have a specific uh, environment, and you want to, I don't know, if you want to limit this brightness, you can do it here easily. All the other settings here are pretty much the same as the standard camera. With one difference here being in the image. So if you go here, you see there are a few different things. So this one is pretty much the same. Exposure, you can uh, adjust exposure as the other cameras. Here you can, uh, uh, what I mentioned, you can force it to switch to, uh, to night mode. So if I do this, it's actually going to switch to black and white. And then you can choose if you want this supplemental light on or off. So I will just uh, show you how, how it looks on the field. So let me get my UVMS started up. I should have it already set up here. Okay, and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna switch this here so I can change the settings of the camera while you can see what's happening with, uh, with the screen. Okay. For some reason this is minimized. Maybe because it's showing more than one channel. Okay, there we go. Now, if I go to system and I go to external device, so now the LED is, is off because there's no real need for it to be supplement, supplementing the scene. But if I, <clears throat> if I, for example, <clears throat> set this timing to what time is it now? Okay. And if I set it to, actually, I'm going to do it here. If I set it to 15, Uh, let me see now. You expand this one a little bit. And if I do this 15 and set it on zero weight, it's going to activate at this time. Make sure to save. Now, when the time hits 1508, it's going to turn on the LED. And here I'm actually going to show you the difference between different illuminations and how it actually looks. There would be more, more effect if uh, this whole room is in dark, but it's still uh, visible. I still definitely see the light coming on. Now this, this LED light is definitely not necessary. It doesn't have to be on, but it can supplement the scene. So. This is, for example, if I set the uh, LED brightness on around 30. Okay, this is even lower. Okay, it just has to apply. Okay, and this is going up to the max around. Okay, this is actually 100 now. So a lot of light is reflecting against this uh, camera that's below this view camera so it's uh, not as visible but it, I believe it's best uh, set on on auto then it can level up the the scene as it needs to so if I let this one on auto leave the max brightness around 85 and save I'm gonna turn out the LED and it's gonna activate as necessary probably when when uh, couple of hours when dark sets in. Okay, and what else is there to mention about this camera? Let's see. Well, not a lot. Um, uh, you can you can also say same thing with the. Uh, sorry, with the web browser, you can also set it here. 
this is actually a newer version of UVMS. And there's also been one update to this newer version, uh, which levels out the UI a bit. Where is our camera? Oh, there it is. Okay. So you can get it here as well. Okay, it actually okay. It actually pops up, pops out the web browser. Which is not bad. All right. Okay, I was thinking it's gonna open the remote configuration uh, scene in UVMS, but it seems it's popping up the web browser. Okay, that works. Okay, it didn't open the advanced settings, but I don't think there are advanced settings for this one. It only goes with the. Or it is now. No, it's not. Okay, it only goes with those basic basic settings that that are visible on the web browser. I don't know. Any questions about this one? It's very simple, as you can see. The only main thing is this LED light and definitely more, uh, uh, I mean, uh, less requirement for uh, a lot of light in the scene to make the color there without switch to IRs and so on. Oh, yeah, that's the only, only thing here is, uh, this light here and yeah, that's it. And there's also a couple other similar products to this one. If we go to CCTV. Okay. As you can see as well, the page is a bit different, so. Can explain this one as well a little. We go to network cameras. We go to mini dome. This one is mini dome. We can choose Hyundai. Okay, this one. All right. Let's see the lens. No, not the lens. Okay, starlight and full color. It's gonna display. Other models. So I have six seven seven. There's also a four megapixel version as well, which has slightly less uh, distance for the white illumination, but it's equally as good. And then we have some bullet models and uh, so on. Okay. Um, if there's no questions. Uh, I want to conclude it and say that uh, next time I'll be talking about the modular. Yeah, it's very simple, so there's not a lot to ask actually. Um, I'm going to talk about the uh, modular uh, Hyundai Intercom. Well, that one's definitely going to have more topics because it has a lot, a lot more uh, uh, elements to it, and uh, uh, you can make. Uh, a lot of modules can be connected and uh, basically work as one. And then depending on how many uh, indoor stations you have, uh, the more complicated it gets. But in the end, it's a, a, all, all of it is, is very straightforward and uh, easy to grasp. Okay, see you next time then. Thank you.